All right, all right, all right. Let's work on some titles. This is kind of fun and simple, and, and uh, you might have already have an idea what a title is, but a title is just that thing that goes at the beginning, the middle, the end. Anytime you want words on a screen, it's a, it's a title effect. And so you definitely want to be able to use those. But titles are located over here in the browser area, and you can find them by just clicking on the T for titles. All right, and what you have here is you have titles and generators, and I'm going to talk about both of those in this title segment. So hopefully that's okay with y'all. If you signed up, didn't sign up for that, just stop the video early. Now just kidding, watch the whole thing. So we can go here, and we can click on the down menu here, and it brings up several different things: 3D, build in, build out. And honestly, um, there's a there's something a little background you probably need to know about the titles. There's really two types of titles, okay? There's these that are the black, have kind of the black background, and these things are handy. You use a couple different ways that they can work. Uh, they can work in conjunction with generators as well. I will show you. So I'm going to choose this one here that just says custom, and I'm going to grab it, and I'm just going to drag it down into the timeline. And when I do this, I have just the black background. But I could drag this on top of this video, and then now the title's on top of the video. All right, so then I can I can manipulate it. I, I promise I'll show you how to manipulate it in just a minute. But in the meantime, I click that off. In in the meantime, though, just know that there's that one, and then there's also these other kinds of titles. And so, for example, these that have the background stuff here, uh, like for this one, for example, uh, it already has a background in it. So if I were to drag it here and drop it off, it works kind of like the other one did. But if I drag it on top of a piece of video. Like here, you can you can moving day, uh, taking Destiny to Austin. It's covering up the video that I want to be able to see, and so it's not one of those titles that you can do that with. You definitely want this one to go on the timeline itself. That's good information to know. The other thing that you might want to know is to say that you wanted this one to be here, and you wanted to be over something, but you didn't just want a random black background. Well, we can change that several different ways, but the easiest way to change that is to go down here to the generators, go to solids, and then drag in one of these solid colors that you can manipulate and change. Uh, a lot of these work in a, a lot of different ways. That pretty much works for all of them. Uh, so I could drag, say, this vivid blue underneath, and now it's on a blue title. Uh, crop that off. It's whatever's on top, so it's going to see. It's a little side note in case you wanted to know that. The main thing is that we know how to type in here and, and use these. And so if you just select the one that you're in, put your playhead over the middle, and then you can go over here and type in there. You can double click in the middle, and you can you can type there. Uh, I could type in Rob for films, okay? And then maybe I want that bigger, so I can grab right here on the size and crank that thing up. If you're not there, you can go back here and gets even more spread out. I don't recommend playing with those too much at the beginning. Uh, so go back in here and you can type whatever you want. You could also type in this box here. No. I won't. Okay. And you can grab it here and you can move it around and put it wherever you want. Uh, maybe I want to move that over here and I want that to be there and I, I want to move it. I won't. So then when you play it. All right. So today's moving day. All right, no, I won't move. Uh, we'll bring that back over here at the beginning. I'm just going to drop it between these two right now. If I want these titles to last longer, I could grab the edge and drag it uh, either way. If I want them shorter, I can grab it and drag it smaller. Okay, Or you can blade it like we've done in the past. All right, these work just like everything else does. Easy to, to blade, move, and make longer. Okay, and something else you might want to look at is changing the font. So I have a lot of fonts installed. So... Uh, I don't know that you'll have this many fonts installed. This is kind of one of my things. I like fonts. Uh, but a lot of these will be, and so you'll be able to use them. So I like that's not that's not at all the one I want, but see you can it's a good an example because it gives me something I don't want. So this gas font, I'm gonna crank this thing up. And some of them will be smaller or bigger depending on uh, what the font is. That does change a few things. You can also go up here and change to 2D styles uh, and use any of these styles. Maybe I want it to look like fantasy. Uh, there it goes. It's all fantasy-like, I guess. I don't know that that's fantasy, but that's what it says it is. Again, we can take that down, drop it here, and then now I have fantasy. All right. 
a lot of these do different things as well. You could go back in here. I like the in and out ones. Uh, some of these have some animation to them. So maybe this one, for example, I'm going to drop it over it. I'm going to let go, and then I'm going to tell it to replace from start. Okay, and that did a couple things there. It'll, it put my words in for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but it did change my font. So I'm going to go back up here and put that font in I liked a minute ago, which was the 2D Fantasy. I'm going to crank that thing back up. And then now, I'll just render really quick. Play this now. And then boom, it lays it out there in this energetic way. Again, there's a lot of different font, or a lot of different uh, titles here. Feel free to play around some of these scale. You can scan across them and get some ideas. Uh, some of these got little glitter stuff. Ooh, that's fancy. Some of these are really nice. Anyway, just one of those things you just kind of play around with a little bit, see what you, see what you like, see what you don't. Um, bumpers and openers, these are the ones that I was talking about that uh, you know you're gonna, you're not able to put over over text uh, the text over the video if you don't want to. Um, and then there are the credits, which are always handy. There's the scrolling credits that you would put at the end of a film if you were going to make a short film, uh, and then you can go in and you can change those as well by typing right here in this box. Here's another thing, a little speech bubble we could drag in and put that over there. Oh, that lined up so perfectly. I could never do that again. Just randomly did that. But just in case it didn't, you could always go back to that tool, the transform tool that I taught you about a long time ago, and you can move this around to wherever it needs to go. But somehow nailed that thing. Oh, I'm going to do this just in case she watches. She used to say this all the time when she was a little girl. Duh. So she can be going along my horizons. I like doing things that could help me in the future. Like have money? Oh, I should put that right here. Like have money. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. In titles also, this is very handy to know, is the lower thirds, especially if you're doing news style stuff uh, or you want to put something in but you don't want it to be in the way. You could uh, grab this guy, put it over the video, and let's click in there and then I can change this. And then second part, description, put awesome dude. And now it's accurate. So it comes in. All right, so today's moving day, uh, taking Destiny to Austin for hopefully the last time. Generators are very similar. You can take a generator and you can put it in and they're really usually used in conjunction with something else. So for example, this one is one I've used in the past and it's kind of trippy and you can change the speed of the spin. If I want really fast, uh, it really makes somebody get nauseous. There you go. Uh, and then, you know, the best part is just to throw a title or something over it. Uh, that's probably not the title I would choose actually. Let me try this guy. Uh, these colors are going to look horrible together anyway. So grab it. Click on it, drag it where you want it. The main thing is that you're clicking on what you're editing. You, you can tell in the upper right corner, uh, if I'm clicked on this, I can edit that. If I'm clicked on this, um, it's over that, I can edit that. I can add more points, or I guess make the smaller points, make the bigger points. It's really huge, and they're just booking it. Anyway, so a lot of these work like that. It's really, you gotta go in and just try one out to see if it's what you want it to be. No two really work exactly the same. Uh, these are just some that I've used in the past. And uh, this one comes in, it looks kind of neat. So you can also make it a still image if you like and not do any movement. Again, some of these are cooler than others. Some of these are not even remotely neat at all. Uh, and others are really, really cool. So like for this example, this one has these floating bubbles, but you could also change that to squares. Uh, you can change it to triangles. You can change the color. Uh, and so that is possible for some of this. So just because you see one, you're like, oh, I wish it was that color. Put it in there. Try it out. You might actually be able to change it to that color because I think that looks way better than the blue. Eh, personal opinion. You, you do your own. All right. So that's the basics of titles and how those guys check out my next video. It's coming up. It's over transitions and transitions are overused in this world, but you still need to know where they're at and how to use them. So stick around for that.